Hello, my beautiful Taurus. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Alrighty, for my Taurus, please. Okay, very interesting. So it talks about route and perception, and it is the number five here. That's your first card, the spiral dancer. So pretty much what I see here so far is that many of you are trying to make um, a choice, okay? You're tired of kind of uh, feeling that you're in on a hamster wheel, I should say, and you're changing your perception when it comes to this person that you're inquiring about. Okay, so something could have happened as of recently which caused you to change your outlook or the way you perceive this bond um, or even this person really. It's almost like an introspective period that you're in and it seems that as of right now, you're reevaluating a situation due to some sort of change. If you're not reevaluating the situation due to some sort of change, you're reevaluating the situation, which is going to result in some sort of change, okay? Between the both of you, um, maybe how you respond to this person, or just, like I said, how you view this bond here. I do feel like there could have been some sort of uh, difficult obstacle to overcome here, um, pertaining to maybe which path to take or what's the right decision to make. So we have the High Lady of Love and Compassion, so reverence, kindness, and consideration. Okay. So there, you guys may be feeling like there is a need to, or you're feeling urged to um, forgive a situation in one way or another, um, especially with the number one for those of you that feel that you are um, either trying to start a new cycle or you're trying to end an old cycle here. Okay, so you could be responding with kindness at this time. You could be kind of putting, um, you know, your anger to the side. Or if you're not angry or frustrated with the situation and you were in the past, it could be that you're overcoming those emotions at this time. So pretty much you guys are operating from a very mellow state. I do see that maybe you've overcome, you know, um, overcame, sorry, some sort of difficulty here with the number five. Okay, um, with consideration, I feel like maybe this is you wanting your person to see things from your perspective as well, or wanting to have some sort of conversation where both points are getting across, right? So maybe not wanting things to feel one-sided. I feel like the person you're inquiring about has a lot to say to you because I feel like every time I'm shuffling your cards, um, a lot of them are coming out here. So let's see. Okay. So we have the Swan Queen. So transformation, intuition, patience. Very interesting. And this uh, number 13 reduces to four. So it talks about stability. Many of you have been very patient when it comes to attaining stability with this person. And it could be that in the 3D, there's either a lack of communication or a lack of consistency here where it's resulting in you having to follow your intuition. Okay, so maybe for some of you, it is playing some sort of guessing game here. But for others of you, maybe you feel that you need to remain patient before you make a firm decision just because you don't see all areas of the um, bond here or all, all um, uh, types of outcomes, right? So it's like you feel like there's still some things that are in the unknown that need to come to light in order for you to you know proceed with you know this firm decision that you're trying to make i do feel like for many of you there could have also been a change that you know again changed your perception of this person so it's making it harder for you to decide what you want to do here okay let's see So as I split the deck, I do see the judgment as well as the Knight of Wands. So some of you may feel that in the past here, um, your person was very in and out, okay? So because your first card has a lot to do with your perception changing, it could have been due to a lack of decision. 
this is someone who could have been a bit fickle or they gave off the energy where you felt like they were a bit confused or not sure of what they want. Um, maybe this person was very clear with what they desire, but the fact that there was a lack of action or the fact that they were not, um, you know, kind of chipping away at what they wanted or working towards what they wanted every day, it made you view them in that Knight of Wands energy. So someone who's a bit confused, like I said, um, you know, in and out potentially. Um, and again, you know, it's it's almost like with the judgment here, some of you feel like the tables have turned or it's a sense of karma and dharma. Like maybe if you feel like your person was being indecisive in the past here, um, you know, now you're having a hard time making a decision because you're kind of like, okay, well, if in the past so many things were uncertain, how am I supposed to trust that this this time around things are going to be different? Okay, I'm being drawn to the gifts here and I feel like... Um, your person could be trying to uh, come forward with come forward with some sort of generous act or you know like a kind gesture. So we do have the two of pentacles as the first card. So there was definitely some sort of juggling going on here. Um, it could be that your person felt that they needed to leave behind something that was stable um, in order to, you know, pursue a new bond here, or they felt like they were lacking some sort of stability. So it's someone who was holding on to something due to the fact that they felt that they were in their comfort zone or you know, it could be a case of, you know, wanting to have your cake and eat it too. But I do see a bit of back and forth energy. Um, because we did see the Knight of Wands and now we're seeing the uh, Two of Pentacles here, it could genuinely be someone who is feeling a bit um, indecisive when it comes to, okay, what's the right thing to say? You know, where where do we, uh, where, what type of action should I take, especially when it comes to, you know, practical moves in the 3D. Like, I don't doubt this person thinks about you and, and, you know, their perception of this bond is something that they are, you know, it kind of like fluctuates or they kind of, um, you know, it changes here and there, right? But the thing is with the two of pentacles, this could be the reason why they're having such a hard time making a decision. Like, for example, um, some days could be easier than other days for your person here, right? But I do feel like it could even be a case of your person feeling that they have a lot on their plate or they have you know, more than a few responsibilities at this time where I just kind of sense an individual who puts things on the back burner, who maybe bites off more than they can chew, right? So I see that there's this energy of holding back mutually, but it seems that both of you are still um, holding on to this connection. And I'll tell you why. The Four of Pentacles is holding on to something for dear life because you feel like A, you're going to lose it, or B, you feel like you're in a place of lack. Okay, so if this is not a place of lack, you just don't want to let go, right? Because you feel like there's something potent here. You know, that card, Four of Pentacles, is clarifying the High Lady of Love and Compassion. So it definitely lets me know that there's still love here. You know, there's still this um, energy of wanting to either work on, uh, you know, what wasn't able to take off in the past or with the Two of Pentacles talk about maybe why things were very uh, wishy-washy here. Um, so I do see an energy of holding back, but in the mutual cards, I do see that there's also this energy of holding on. Okay. Um, you know, you're, I feel like more than anything, you're kind of involved with an individual who's figuring out maybe what to say, or again, there's something to do with having a lot on their plate here. So we have the king of pentacles here so some of you may be involved with another earth sign 
or you know we have a lot of pentacle energy here so it could be that this energy is also heavily um you know impacting you at this time taurus in a sense of maybe the main thing you are focused on is stability you know the king of pentacles is clarifying the swan queen card and that card is the number 13 so we touched on the fact that it reduces to four which talks about structure stability building on a more stable foundation than you did in the past is what i see in your desires okay so with the king of pentacles i do feel like your person views you as someone who's very sure of themselves who's very certain who's who's maybe stable you could be well off but the thing about this is you know with the four of pentacles and the two of pentacles it's more of an indecisive and um energy that is still holding on because it's almost like some of you could feel this person is either holding on to you until they're ready or there's this energy of you feeling strung along but from your part i feel like you're mainly focused on stability with that king of pentacles you're mainly focused on something that is going to be here for the long haul okay so many of you are not looking for temporary um you know stability here So things could have ended very abruptly here or there was some sort of misunderstanding that you guys had where it led to inconsistency in your communication, right? I'm getting a very specific situation here, but for some of you, there may have even been an energy of forgiving, but you feel like things were not how they used to be. There was still like an, a back and forth energy. So an energy of someone holding something back or maybe I'm picking up on passive aggression here, right? Um, but with the tower... I'm so sorry about that guys okay so uh with the tower card here again for some of you you could be involved with the scorpio or it could be letting me know that things happened very quickly in this bond i feel like if there was a misunderstanding here guys it definitely took a long time for this person to get over it in one way or another or they feel like it affected all areas of their life Okay, this could be someone who feels like when things were falling apart in this bond, um, it was like maybe the worst timing because they may have felt like other areas of their life were kind of falling apart. So it's, you know, kind of not the best feeling here. But again, with the tower, I feel like this has a lot to do with the pace of this bond here. Maybe things picking up very quick, you know, moving very quickly. But with that four of pentacles, I feel like maybe when things came to a halt or things, there was something that was decreasing here, whether it was the level of effort, you know, the communication, um, there started to be an energy of holding back. So this could have definitely led you to question, okay, well, wh what went wrong here? You know what I mean? Like, why are we holding back from each other? Why are the emotions changing? Um, that sort of thing is what I'm picking up on. Okay, four of pentacles. And this could just be letting me know that many of you put this uh, bond to an end or maybe you confronted this person when you felt like there was like a back and forth energy or juggling, right? Like whether you found out you this person actually stepped out on the bond or whether this is a case of you kind of just following your intuition, right? So maybe you were like, okay, I feel that in my gut something is wrong, so I'm going to confront this person about it. Nine of Cups, you know, with the Four of Pentacles, you genuinely do make this person very happy. They are wanting some sort of transformation here that brings them emotional fulfillment. The next card is King of Pentacles. So this person feels like the only way they can come forward is if they're able to offer you stability, which is definitely the case on your side as well, because I see that you guys are in an energy of pretty much standing firm in your stance like even if you're having a hard time making a decision and you don't know exactly what you want i'm sure you know what you don't want and a lot of you don't want anything that's uncertain you don't want anything that lacks stability okay that's what i keep getting for uh your energy here nine of cups again i feel like your person thinks about you a lot you you emotionally fulfill them this could be someone who's missing you because i do see an energy of holding back so a generic example, Taurus, if you are speaking with this person, I feel like it's on surface level. I don't feel like this person is telling you everything that they want to tell you. And this person's very held back when it comes to emotions because I only see, uh, you guys only have one card that has the uh, suits of cups here. So, you know, pretty much someone who's maybe not comfortable expressing their emotions or someone who is um, not, uh, you know, wanting to be vulnerable at this time. All right, King of Pentacles. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the Five of Cups here. So I feel like this is an energy of yes missing, but they also feel that they are not able to get over the past in one way or another, right? So this is someone who's very focused on moving things forward, but they feel like a lot of emotions that they have felt in the past. Like, okay, this is pretty much what I'm getting here. Like if something you know, transpired between the both of you where maybe bo both, both parties, your feelings were hurt, this person was not realizing that as Sorry about that. Those pigeons are kind of cooing on my balcony. I'm not really sure why, but you know, um, so essentially guys, I feel like this person is very focused on the past. You know, if again, you know, there was an argument here in both parties, you know, your feelings were hurt. One party here was able to accept and fathom their feelings much quicker than the other. So I feel like the aftermath is what your person is dealing with right now, but it's a case of them not accepting their emotions as it was occurring. Okay. So my wonderful Taurus, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.